we spoke about a moving average and exponential uh, smoothing in the previous videos we have the same data set where we have annual population uh, of a country and uh, we will be solving it by linear regression now so uh, we will be forecasting uh, using the data analytics tool in excel we uh, can enable these tools using excel option add-ins and then by checking this option you will see data analysis option from here so if you select regression in regression we will try to plot all these values and then try to fit a straight line so that's why we need to give input y range as the data which is our population and x range is the year which is changing right we will select the labels because we have also selected the labels while putting the data and let us put uh, here some cell let's say m3 uh, or m2 whatever where we can uh, plot the data it is also going to plot a normal distribution curve if we select the option so we will get the summary of uh, this linear regression and the most important part of this uh, summary is uh, the intercept value and the coefficient um, i mean the year these are the two coefficients so what we are trying to do is after plotting we will try to fit a straight line so the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus b where m is slope x is your x intercept and b is uh, your coefficient so once we get the values of these two coefficients we can easily predict the values so if we try to fit in uh, the equation y equals mx plus c and if we use these two coefficients to predict the values what we can do is first of all we need to pick the slope uh, the slope is uh, this positive value and uh, we can put here value as x and b is uh, your intercept so that's how we have calculated uh, all these values and now we can calculate the deviation uh, from the actual value so we can get the absolute value of deviation um, in the similar way like we have calculated in moving average and uh, exponential smoothing so absolute value of um, the difference and we can drag this uh, till the bottom so we get the uh, deviations for each data and if we need to calculate the average value of uh, this uh, deviation we can take the average so like um, for moving average we had a mad value uh, for smoothing also we calculated the average of deviations so for li uh, linear regression also we will be calculating uh, the deviation average so we take average of all these values so now if we compare uh, the three uh, averages of deviation uh, we can find uh, the suitable model we can play and we can tweak some uh, factors like um, alpha in case of exponential smoothing and uh, here also we can uh, tweak some factors to make it more precise so stay, stay connected in the next tutorial we will be explaining uh, through python code how to apply moving average